Hi, my name is Brady Hazlett. I'm an application engineer here at 3M. And today I'm gonna to go through tips and tricks with the 3M Performance Spray Gun. When connecting the nozzle to the 3M Performance Spray Gun, ensure that you slide it over the needle and press firmly into the head to make sure it's bottomed out before you rotate the collar. If it's not bottomed out, you'll notice you can actually no rotate that nozzle. So to avoid that, bottom out that nozzle before you rotate the locking collar all the way to the stop and it ends up in that X. After the nozzle is attached to the gun and you're attaching to the PPS cup, hold the spray gun by the nozzle. And that helps to ensure that you get all four points connected from the nozzle to the cup. If you notice that the knobs or the locking collar become hard to rotate, feel free to use any pink gun safe lubricant to keep those spinning freely. If you notice that the 3M Performance Spray Gun is putting out too much material, be sure to rotate in the fluid knob, which keeps the trigger from pulling all the way open, allowing you to reduce the amount of material coming out. We're often asked, how long do the nozzles last? And I would recommend if you notice any pattern degradation or you start to see the beginning of a leak at the needle tip or near the trigger, then it's time to change nozzles. Generally, when cleaned properly, that's between six to 10 uses, but it depends on the coatings being applied.